The RMS Titanic, often referred to as the unsinkable ship, met a tragic fate when it struck an iceberg and sank on that fateful night in April 1912. Since then, many have wondered if there's any way to bring this iconic vessel back to the surface. Well, stick around, because we're about to unravel the complex reasons why it's just not possible. The ship lies about 12,500 feet, 3,800 meters below the surface of the North Atlantic Ocean, in an environment that's far from hospitable. The immense pressure at that depth is enough to crush most submersibles and make any recovery mission extremely dangerous. The Titanic is a behemoth, measuring approximately 883 feet, 269 meters in length and weighing around 46,000 tons. Imagine trying to lift something that massive. It's like moving a mountain. The sheer size and weight present staggering logistical challenges. Beyond the technical hurdles, there are important ethical and legal considerations. The Titanic is more than just a shipwreck. It's a maritime grave for the 1,500 souls who lost their lives that fateful night. Many argue that disturbing their final resting place is not only disrespectful, but also legally complex. Finally, let's talk about the most practical aspect, cost. Raising the Titanic would be a colossal undertaking, likely costing billions of dollars. The technology required to do so doesn't currently exist, and even if it did, would it be worth the enormous investment? So, in conclusion, while the idea of raising the Titanic from the depths of the ocean may capture our imagination, it's a monumental task that's currently beyond our reach. The ship, a poignant reminder of history, continues to rest peacefully on the ocean floor, preserving the memory of that tragic night in 1912.